Something I've been very adamant about since I started playing Dead by Daylight was the similarity between Dead by Daylight and trading card games. The way that I look at Dead by Daylight is that, much like a trading card game, there are good perks, there are bad perks, there are perks that synergize well, and the way that you build things in Dead by Daylight is finding the things that synergize the best with whatever you are currently using. On Survivor, it's a lot easier to find synergies because you're only looking at perks, but on Killer, you need to look at how the killer plays, how the perks interact with the power, and it goes very in debt. You also look at things like the add-ons, for example, for the killer. And so this is all very fun and interesting and enjoyable, and this is probably my favorite perk system that I've ever experienced in any video game ever. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, want to give my props to be behavior for them making the perks as interesting and as loaded as they could. But there are a couple of problems that I feel like we need to be addressed. One of the inherent problems with perk design is the fact that there is not a lot to the core gameplay. So be on the surface, Dead by Daylight's actually a very simple game. Survivor, find Jin and fix Jin. Killer, find Survivor and kill Survivor while defend Jin. Because of this, Behavior has seemingly struggled with adding effects to perks and keeping everything fresh and new. This is why they started coming up with things like the Invocation perk. Because there's only so many different ways you can write Jin go faster or character go faster, or slow down opposite character, or slow down Jin before it starts to get incredibly repetitive and frustrating. Now, there is a lot more that I'm giving credit for. There is perks to deal with vaulting. There is perks to deal with being injured. There is perks to deal with pallets. There is perks to deal with um, exit gates. There is perks to deal with in games and stuff like that, right? There's a lot of perks that are out there that deal with a lot of different facets of the of the game. The problem is, or at least my big problem is that, like I said, there's a lot of core things that are missing. Now, I have tried in the past to offer solutions to perk design by introducing five new status effects um, that I put uh, in a video that I will show on screen now, and hopefully, if I remember, link in the description. The reason that I tried to introduce the five new status effects is because I've always felt like behavior kind of leaves a lot of status effects down to the wayside when it comes to perk design. Now, my issue lately has been behavior's kind of obsession with haste. Um, and I don't know why. They don't even need to add any of my ideas because there's a very underutilized status effect called deafen that only exists in one place in the game, and it's for a hag add-on. Do you understand how cool of an effect Deafen is? First off, it'd be nice for the rest of you motherfuckers to know how I feel when I'm playing the game. But second off, it's just a cool idea. Like, imagine perks that are designed with the idea that you can deafen survivors and you can be undetectable with other perks, and it makes killers like Dredge or Nemesis very, like, more stealth. Like, could you imagine a Nemesis barreling down on you and he's completely quiet? That would be terrifying. That is so such a cool idea, and I hate how completely, utterly underutilized that status effect is. Another inherent problem with perk design is actually the need for perk tiers. Now, this is actually something that I saw from Deadly Naya. She's a Dead by Daylight creator. I watch her Twitch sometimes, and I follow her on Twitter, and she has come up with the idea of no more perk tiers, and I... Fully fucking agree. First off, there's way too many perks in this game. There are way too many perks in this game, and it has made leveling up it, it, leveling up characters a pain in the ass. First off, you have to prestige one every single character uh, for in order to get the teachables on other play on other killers that you would much rather enjoy, or other characters you would much rather enjoy. I should say. Um, 
And so one of the big problems that I have with that is that it sucks. Like, like, okay, for example, when a new character comes out, you want to adept them, but you want to level up their personal teachables first, but you don't have everybody else at P3. So you have to go through all of the state, you, you, your, your blood web gets cluttered with all of the general perks being at yellow and then all of the other teachables being at yellow. Maybe you've got some green because you got some to P2. So you have to dig through dozens of perks, um, do dozens, sometimes hundreds because both roles have hundreds of perks in order to get to the ones that you actually want to level up. So eliminating the first two tiers of perks would solve that right off the bat. It would be easier to get perks and teachables and generals onto your characters, and it would leave more room for finding things like add-ons and offerings and shit like that a lot sooner. With only tier three perks, there's a very good chance you could have almost every perk done and on your character by the time you hit prestige one or halfway through prestige two. Um, another problem it, it has is that it limits perk design in ways that I feel like could be avoided. So because of the way that because of the way that the perks are designed in tiers, they have to give you a reason for each tier. So what behavior likes to do is they like to add numbers. Um, you blind, you, you hinder somebody for blank, blank, blank seconds. You stun somebody for, you stun the killer for blank, blank, blank seconds. You must work on a generator for blank, blank, blank progress in order to activate this perk. With only tier three perks, behavior only ever has to come up with one number. And then if they ever need to change the perk for whatever reason, whether that be buffing or nerfing, they only need to worry about one number. <laughs> and so with that in mind, they could completely, they can also do perks that don't even have numbers. If there are perks out there that don't have a need for a cooldown or a need for a percentage or something like that, then they could start designing perks like that. Like imagine if there was... Imagine if there was a perk that, um, I don't know, whenever you, whenever you drop a pallet, there's no noise notification for dropping the pallet. They could do, would it be good? I don't know. But like, they could do that. They could make that a perk and then they wouldn't have to worry about coming up with, I don't know, a random cooldown or a random amount of meters that the, the pallet noise notification can't be heard from. They don't have to worry about that. They could just give you a perk that does something simple like that. And so I think that introducing only tier three perks would be amazing. It would also free up some prestige levels for new rewards like player cards and player banners maybe nudge nudge hint hint um so in conclusion i just think that tier three perks are are like going with only tier three perks is probably the best design choice um but i also think that the behavior needs to add more status effects in the game and also focus on the status effects they currently have that aren't haste so that we could be, get some more variety in perk builds coming soon and with this new system there was all there's also the the opening for perks to do with lockers and more end game perks and things like that. So that's the way I think it is. That's my, my problem with perks uh, and how I would solve it. But of course I do want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. And as always a great big special thank you to our channel members listed on screen. Now, if you want to find out how to become a channel member today and get awesome perks, like seeing videos early merch discount codes and more than please click that join button down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.